It is 9.23 on this Friday. We have some time for fun, learning, and quite possibly some minor property damage with Jason Lindsay, a STEM educator, meteorologist known as Mr. Science. He joins us now. I, the last time you and I talked must have been Christmas, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and now we're here on the, uh, on the doorstep of Easter. Is that a giant ca carrot next to you? It is, Scott. Did you not grow one like this in your backyard last I spring? No, I did not. No? Okay. It's not a real one. It's a vegetable, of course. In the bottom of it, I have shoved an old film canister. That would be a carrying case for film. We used that a long time ago. I'm going to add some water. We're going to make this carrot soar through the air by using a chemical reaction. So this is just a syringe with some warm water in it. have some Alka-Seltzer here. Before I do all of that, I need to put some safety glasses on. Kids, do not eat or drink your science experiment. Have a adult around, wear the appropriate safety gear, and make sure you're having fun when doing science. So, I have that carrot. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the soaring carrot I'm talking about. That chemical reaction, Scott, and everyone else built up on the inside, and it made that carrot shoot through the air. Okay, do you have chocolate bunnies at your house? Uh, not yet. Apparently, I'm uh, tasked with uh, on the way home. Okay, so inside of my chocolate bunny, I have another secret ingredient. I can't tell you what that is because you can't do this one at home. All right. I'm going to add some water to the back of it. A chemical reaction is going to build up. Next, I'm going to insert the igniter. What? What? And there goes the exploding chocolate bunny. A little too much cabbage. What did you think about that one? What was that? What was your question again? The explosion kind of startled me. A little too much cabbage for dinner last night? What, what caused that? <laughs> Good thing I'm not in studio. I might smell delicious, right? <laughs> So, yeah, that was a chemical reaction that built up on the inside. You can see why we did not give kids the secret ingredient. They're the first one they can do. We have time for one more? Yep, absolutely. Okay, inside of this one, I have two ingredients, dish detergent as well as some hydrogen peroxide. Uh -huh. Then I took this uh, beautiful egg from the living room. Hopefully no one will notice it's missing. I'm sure. And then... I have another ingredient here, potassium iodide. When I mix the two together, another chemical reaction takes place. So it's all about chemical reactions, right. isn't it? And then a lot of foam is going to form, and our egg will ooze with a lot of foam. So we're going to pour that in there. We're going to set this on top. The reaction is taking place on the inside. And then here comes the foam. Three, two, one. Look at that. Oh, okay, that was cool. Yeah, that I one like was that. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. And no loss so, of limb, so that's good. And I'm safe. I'm safe. There are safe uh, <laughs> holiday science experiments at hookedonscience.org. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, HOS Mr. Science. And I have to thank you because I've been saving film canisters for years, knowing I would need them for something. Who knew it would be to launch a carrot in the air? Exactly. Just make sure you get a decorative carrot. I've never used a real one. <laughs> hey, you know, we, we can always talk next time. Jason, thanks so much. Uh, have a good holiday weekend. We appreciate it. You too. Take care. Keep safe. Keep well. Sounds good. Nine